<laughs> While you're out there on the slopes, um, whether it's a day like today where it's a little foggy or tomorrow it's going to be light and sunny, you need to protect your noggin and you need to have proper eye gear on. But today we're talking about education, mm -hmm. right, Eric? That is right. That is our <laughs> specialty there at craniology. That is what your technical term is as a educator. Mm -hmm. I we love are, that. We are all master educators. Yeah, it's great. And uh, I know that you guys have a huge selection in store. I was just in your store on Friday. I love all the goggles that you guys have. You have hats, you have gloves, you have really cool stickers. <laughs> I know my cameraman Wes and I were laughing at the stickers that you yeah. have in there. But you specialize in helmets. Let's start with this one down here at the end. I'm actually going to go this with this. Yeah, we're going to kind of progress in the technology levels here. So the theme of the helmets that I brought today, um, they're all dual density helmets. What that means is there's two varying shell thicknesses in different pieces of each of these helmets. It's fairly new technology. Uh, Smith made it quite prominent with their Vantage helmet, which I'm mm -hmm. sure we've all heard of. It's yes. a super popular helmet. Um, so this is a brand new one from Anon. So dual density, meaning this top piece of plastic, sort of where the brim is, is a little bit thicker than what the lower plastic surrounding um, sort of your occipital part of your skull in the back and then your temple. Um, the reason they do that, when you make a thicker plastic up top, you can use a thinner foam inside the helmet. So that means the helmet can sit really low profile and provide extra safety in case you're dinging off of trees. <laughs> Hopefully you're not dinging off any trees. And the nice thing about this is also that it has that BOA technology for tightening. Yep, that's yeah. correct. And really cushiony and comfy on the inside. Mm -hmm. And I see you have this, it's removable. So when you see this coming out, don't think that it's broken. This is removable in case you want yeah. to look super steezy while you're out there uh, with your goggles under your helmet. Okay, so let's talk about the Pretnex. So this is, uh, again, a brand so new model weight. from them. Yeah, that's their specialty. They specialize in the lightest weight, lowest profile helmets on the market. Um, this is one of my personal favorites for inbounds riding. Um, really lightweight. And again, going, moving along with that dual density theme from the Prime, the Pret kind of has smaller pieces of uh, plastic inlaid. So where the logo is on the side, um, where the vents are on the top, and where the vents are on the front, those are actually thicker pieces of plastic. So that's to provide extra impact protection on the sides if you're mm -hmm. falling, or on the top or the front. So it can maintain its really lightweight, low profile nature while still providing a little bit more safety than your traditional in molded helmet. Now on the back here, there's a sticker that says MIPS MIPS. Mm -hmm. What does that stand for? So if you flip the helmet towards the camera like that, we can see this nice yellow sheath in there. Um, essentially, it's a concussion reduction technology, multi-directional impact protection system. It allows the helmet to rotate slightly upon impact which mimics what your brain does in your head to hopefully help reduce concussions. Oh, I love that. Let's move on to the Stormtrooper helmet. Uh, that one, that's what I like to call it. <laughs> this would be the granddaddy of them all in terms of safety, in terms of features. This is my preferred helmet out in the backcountry when things are a little bit more risky than inbounds. So we've got carbon fiber reinforcement in the top. Um, again, a dual density shell. So the shell is thinner where your skull is thicker um, and thicker where your skull is thinner. So it kind of works with your body to both reduce weight and be safe where it needs to. Also, the foam on the inside follows that dual density nature where it's actually stiffer foam on the front and the back where you're most mm. prone to impacts. I do see, I feel that there. Yeah, a little bit of a color difference. Um, um, again, it has the MIPS technology. Right there on the uh, inside. The safest, most comfortable helmet. It really does into. move, like you said it does. Because mm -hmm. I know sometimes you'll bring in the model and you'll move the little head around, but that's that's awesome. Now, does this come in other styles as well? <laughs> uh, it comes in a few other white? colors. No, okay. we've got a nice all blacked out one. There's a super bright orange one. Mm -hmm. If you're into that, there's one that's like teal and orange. If you're a Miami Dolphins fan, I don't know <laughs> if that exists anymore. <laughs> you know me, I'm a Lions fan. Yeah. <laughs> so where are you located? So we're in Vail Village. We're on Wall Street in Vail Village, just mm -hmm. a block away from the main Bridge Street, right at that first intersection where Gorsuch and Pepe's are, make a right. Look left and you'll see us. All right, come on in, say hello to Eric. They measure your head and they ensure that you are going to be nice and safe out there on the slopes and they'll help you pick the perfect helmet to make sure that you are doing just fine out there while you're riding Vale and Beaver Creek. Coming up next, we're going to take it over to Ashley. She's giving you a look at that weather forecast and then Ken Hovey with more conditions at First Chair.